When I was one, I had a big monster. And now I don't. I had a brain tumor. Now I feel better. It has been seven years since cancer. I don't have any more. Well, Alex was in treatment for a long time, basically as long as she could remember her whole life. And she met a lot of other children who were in the same fight as her. Alex came up with the idea to have a lemonade stand when she was in the hospital. Liz said, Alex, what do you want to buy with, with this money? And she said, oh, I don't want to keep it. I want to give it to the doctors so they can come up with new treatments. Alex was diagnosed just two days before her first birthday. You know, we had sensed for several months that something wasn't right with her. But to hear that she had neuroblastoma, which can be curable, but it can also be very deadly, was like your worst fear has, has happened and it's really hard to comprehend. Things we learned from Alex's diagnosis and sickness was to make the most of every day, to enjoy every day, and just to live the best life that you can. I thought it was adorable that she would think she was gonna have a lemonade stand and raise enough money to really make an impact uh, for other kids. And it was winter and we lived in Connecticut but she kept asking us for months after she got out of the hospital about setting up a lemonade stand. It took a while before we realized that what she was doing was making a difference. Her first lemonade stand, she raised $2,000. When we moved down to Philadelphia, Alex started bringing up the idea of setting up another lemonade stand. She raised $12,000 in one day. Next year, $18,000 she raised in one day in the pouring rain. And then an amazing thing started happening was we started getting letters from people that read about her or saw her on TV. And the letters would say, Alex, we saw what you were doing and we wanted to help you, so here's our, our, our check from money that we raised. It started with Alex, but then it became so much more. It's like a hub and spoke. You know, she was the hub, and all these spokes started doing things. She lived eight and a half years, but she packed a lot of living into eight and a half years. After Alex died, she had just raised a million dollars. That was her goal. She had reached it and she passed away. Uh, I honestly thought the lemonade stand would go away. But people said, we're gonna keep doing this in honor of Alex. We're gonna continue what Alex started. So that planted a seed in our minds that maybe this was something that could continue. So many people reached out and said, we want you to continue this. And so Liz and I realized, you know what? We have to continue what Alex started because we have an opportunity to help a lot of kids. And at the end of the day, I think that was her plan. She knew that she could help a lot of kids. She knew that what she was doing wasn't gonna help her. I thought that this was particularly fascinating. The torch was handed by a child uh, and it was reversed. It was handed by a child to her parents who, uh, who took her vision. So it's a vision of a child that we're all trying to achieve here. A child who suffered, and decided that this, is, this should not be the end of it. She didn't want to stop that. Alex's initial vision has carried out in helping literally thousands of, of researchers in this country uh, be able to uh, continue to perform cutting edge research. I've been in this business uh, for over 30 years and this is in my opinion, the worst uh, funding climate we've ever experienced. There has been a progressive decrease in the amount of money available to research childhood cancers. That's where Alex's Lemonade Stand Foundation steps in. We are funding the best research to help kids with cancer that exists. We think that's probably our most important job, is making sure we're funding the right projects. We have a, a very developed grant selection process where people apply to us. Um, we have scientists review these projects, and basically at the end of the day, we fund the ones that, that score the best during this review process, because we want to help the most kids with cancer that we can, and we want to help them as quick as we can. Because every year that it 
that it takes us, more kids are gonna die waiting for that new treatment. It's a tough thing to be, to be a childhood cancer researcher when there's not a lot of money there. But you're giving your life to a cause where you could be doing something else where you're making more money, but you have a dedication to these kids, and so we wanna be there for those researchers. I was fortunate enough to be honored with an Alex's Lemonade Stand Foundation Young Investigator Award. It provided me two years of protected time to really get my project off the ground to make further findings in my field and also start to publish um, what are now seminal papers in the field as well. We would like to find targeted treatments that are less toxic to the brain, less toxic to the child, and that do not involve the skill of a surgeon. And so without funding such as Alex's Lemonade Stand Foundation, um, I don't think investigators like myself could really do the work that we do. Certainly, Alex Lemonade Stand Foundation has been one of the most successful foundations that I know of. They've been enormously successful and they have had a tremendous impact throughout the country and even beyond. We're extremely fortunate. I mean, I feel so lucky. I feel like the luckiest mom in the world. Um, they have had Alex as my daughter, but to be able to continue to carry on something so meaningful that she started that's having such an impact is a gift, and I appreciate it every day. We're happy to be coming to work because we know that we're helping kids, and we're gonna be even happier um, on the day that we don't have to come to work because we've gotten cures for all the kids, and I see that day coming. I see that day coming when, when, when we have a cure for all the kids, they won't have lifelong side effects from the treatment. I see that day on the horizon.